Yes, indeed. We uh, listened to some feedback, we looked at some stuff, and it was important for us to still have some sports, still have some form of way of sharing our opinions, sharing our takes, expressing ourselves about what we think going on in the sports world. So instead of doing a full podcast on it, what we're going to start doing is do these little, what we like to call them from the sideline reports. Yeah, yeah. Every week, yeah. <laughs> All of from the sidelines right now. Hell yeah. So uh, we're going to kind of give our little two cents into it using this platform. So this is going to be like a nice little segment. Shouldn't be no more than 20 minutes, ideally. Mm-hmm. Um, just kind of going to go run through some stuff. So what we got today? Uh, we got the NBA playoffs. Then we're going to touch on the Javante Davis, Brian Garcia fight, everybody. This is going to be a good one. And at the end of these nice little segments, we're going to have beautiful games, games that we normally do play, but they're going to be fun. It's going to be hot in the yes, indeed. I feel like I'm excited for it. So let's go ahead and uh, get, get into this, everybody, with the NBA playoffs here. You want to go ahead and kick, kick that off, John? Yes. Yeah. What you've really seen so far? Man, so far, uh, what's the thing that's interesting? Uh, Clippers and Suns playing a tight series. We were I talked about it a little bit last night. Mm-hmm. I mean, that first game, Kawhi was just lights out. Russell, uh, not the greatest offensive of corner Columbus, but like you said, he has some key moments on defense. Mm-hmm. Hustle wise, I think you said there was a stat line that said that like when he was on uh, KD, Book, and CP3, they shot like 25%. Yeah, yeah. So he had a big game. Uh, their shooters were on point. Aaron Gordon has been lights out this freaking series. Mm-hmm. Suns, I mean, this last, last night's game, man, uh, that starting five just dominated that game. And if that starting five just continues to play that way, it's gonna be tough to beat. But I mean, that's where I think the Clippers kind of have the advantages. They have the, they have a good they have a good five. Especially if Paul George comes back anytime in the season uh, in the series, and then their bench is so deep. So I mean. If I'm the Clippers, I'm hoping this goes to seven because mm-hmm. if there's any chance to get PG back, that's going to be a tough game for uh, the starting five of the Suns because right now that Suns bench is just non-existent. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I I totally agree with you. My little quick NBA uh, recap of the playoffs. You know uh, that. Uh, in the East, I mean, everything's to be expected. Uh, the Milwaukee-Miami matchup, that's going to be a dog fight. Uh, Boston-Atlanta, I thought Atlanta was going to steal a game. They're getting absolutely worked. They're probably going to get to that. Um, uh, with, with Philadelphia, your, your own, your, your Eagles team, the team you root for, they're dominating as expected against Brooklyn. <laughs> Even though Brooklyn on the Eagles. <laughs> I know. I he, know. He was just know, comparing. Yeah. Like, are you a, I'm a Philly fan? As far as the Eagles, <laughs> like I don't, I don't, I, I don't watch basketball. Okay. Yeah, so know. I don't know. Like this, this segment's all yours. Um, we got but, you. But yeah, hey, go Philly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you repeat in the sense. Yeah. 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 Go, go Philly. Um. So yeah. So the guys, who you guys are for? Uh, Lakers. Lakers all the way. Okay. Lakers all the way. L A to be guy. Um. So in that regard, yeah, the East Coast is per usual. So to me, it's like I'm not even gonna really harp on that. The West Coast is where the fun is at. Uh, we are Laker fans, you know, die hard. So the fact that John Morant is is hurt, the game is today. Um, I I expect the Lakers to win in five, but that's just me. I do feel like they they may still win because Memphis is a really uh, deep team. They're young. Uh, they can't shoot. So that's gonna be really fun and interesting to see. Um, and like I said, the my biggest kind of wow was the Sacramento Kings move with Golden State. Golden State can't steal one. Um, it's really looking like Sacramento is probably going to win six. This is what I was saying. It's really a surprise because we've known how bad Golden State is away. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's not like, let's not say like, oh, it's crazy. Like, obviously, Sacramento Kings are a new team to the playoffs, mm-hmm. but Golden State's been horrible on the road all year long. That's true. That's true. But, uh, but, but like, um, but to me, it's just something about playoff, playoff basketball. We've seen this team, no matter their struggles, at least win a game in playoffs because it's a different beast. Yeah. They had a chance, game one. They didn't capitalize Sacramento Day with Aaron Fox. Okay. So, like I said, that it's been fun. The NBA playoffs is going to be a great thing. We're going to stay in tune with that. We it's going to be amazing. So, we're going to go ahead and roll over to the fight. To what's really fun out here, and that's going to be the Javante Davis Ryan Garcia fight. Um, Matt, you're saying that you know you got a little intel on the fight. You got a little, you know, like a 
You got some thoughts on it? What, what are they, man? What, what you thinking about the fight and who who may win? I honestly don't know who's gonna win. I think that uh, based off of what I've looked into and how I want this to go, I'm rooting for uh, I'm rooting for Davis. Tank. Yeah. You're going tank. for Tank. Okay. You're going yeah, this whole's just been on the up with his knockouts. Um, I mean, Garcia just had that one too, though, like with that left foot. Mm -hmm. I mean, he got knocked down by somebody that doesn't have the same power as Tank. So we'll true. see if that full yeah, if that full you know he connects. He's got that. You know they yeah. both they both they both got good technical work. Like they do. They're both really finesse fighters. Like and and you know, uh, and there's a lot of hype between them. You know they've been talking all, for a long while. But I mean there is differences now. Like we were discussing that um, when they first were talking about this fight, uh, Garcia was smaller. Yeah. He wasn't as big. But now he's a little bigger. He's a little yeah, bit right. more experienced. He's still at the same speed, if not probably faster. Got three inches on on Davis now. He's got three yeah, height, and then what, yeah. like four inches on reach? I think four inches on reach. Actually, no, I think four inches on height and, and then three, three, three inches on reach. Yeah. And so like, um, it's just one of those like that. That's just going to be a factor. Um, but I just I don't know, man. Like I don't really like the the aura or the vibe that I get from that full Garcia like. You know, I don't know, man. It's just like just too influencer. It's just too like it's not like real. Yeah, it doesn't seem real. Not like credible. Like not genuine. Like, no, like like his his, 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 his it, like his marketing, the way he goes about it. I'm not yeah. saying he's not a good fighter. Like he's obviously dope as fuck. But yeah. like, mm -hmm. it's just the way he goes about shit and his like marketing and like who he. I, I mean, maybe like who he surrounded himself with when he first was on the up when he was younger. You know, all these, like, the new generation being, like, TikTok fucking stars and shit. And, yeah. Like, you know, doing all these little, like, you were talking about the challenges and how, like, you know, like, why don't we just keep this fucking boxing yeah. kind of deal. Like, you know, like, the marketing and stuff, like, I get it. Market yourself. Get yourself out yeah. there. Make a name for yourself. However the new algorithms are and shit like that. But fucking in my, I don't know. I just want to see some dog, dude. Like, yeah. I, like I don't want to see, like, some, like, yeah, like, you know, scripted shit. You know, yeah. like I don't know, like it just seems like the fighters that I enjoy, like even though Nate Diaz is full, the, the way he talks is sometimes it's like, it's like okay, like okay, like you can hit a lot. <laughs> yeah, you can hit a lot, but it's, it, it's genuine though. This yeah. don't give a fuck, oh, yeah. and like and same with McGregor, that fool is genuine. Don't give yeah. a fuck. They're just great shit talking. Yeah. They're like they're just they, they, when they talk, they don't give a fuck. Like Mazda Cunnington. Like, like yeah, like, like but like with him, it just seems very like forced and like. Like Tim, not Tim, but like yeah, maybe it's not comfortable. Like, like not comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not comfortable. Yeah, that's not his realm. Yeah, like shit talking is not his realm from yeah. what I've seen. Mm -hmm. And like, like it's just his aura. Like it's just like, dude. Like I don't know, man. This seems off, yeah. weird to me. And then like obviously Javante, like that fool was like, dog. Like yeah. I mean, well they were on uh, what was live on um, live stream. Yeah, and I guess it's winner takes all now. Yeah, winner takes all. It's winner takes all. So that makes it more exciting, yeah. you know. That, but that's you know they need to sell tickets, yeah. you know, like they, like you like you said since since Mayweather, mm -hmm. nobody sells like that no more. Nobody. Like yeah. he was what great at what marketing yeah. selling. Yeah. Even people that aren't big. Boxing fans know that much. Yeah, it's almost over there, yeah. Yeah, like, and people, they know that people will pay top dollar. Mm -hmm. They will pay fucking top dollar for something like that. They'll, they'll pay the people. But, like, are the people going to pay top dollar for this right now? It's hyped as fuck. But is it, like... I don't know. There's sort of... I think that's kind of... Been, and I think I go back to, like, it's kind of like that new age, like, influencer marketing. And that's where I guys say, like, kind of Ryan Garcia has that. It's because he's, like, worked with some people, and, like, there's so many people that, like, kind of fuck with him. Yeah. In that realm of, like, influencers. There's going to be a lot of hype to that fight. Think of, what's the big thing, like, I'll say, like, about McGregor? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, I agree with that. But, like, for, like, the OGs. Like, that, that's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying, like, for that, the, the crowd that they're going to bring in, like, that new age. It may not be necessarily for, like, for, like the classic, like, fans of boxing. Like, this might be something that's going to be more eyes. From a different demographic to boxing, yeah, I, it's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 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 not bad, especially because the core values of boxing are within this match versus like a Jake Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both because they're good fighters. Yeah, like this isn't gonna be a fight where it's just like uh, like a like a like a publicist. Like these these two have been like three years ago. 
Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, this is something that like, it's people been, want it's to see. It's yeah. been simmering. It's been yeah. simmering. It's been like it got to a boil. Now it's getting to a boil. Mm -hmm. We're finally gonna see if the you know who's gonna fuck in. Yeah. You know. if, I get, if I get your feel like with the aura of mm -hmm. Ryan Garcia, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, you go ahead, John. Uh, I thought I was gonna say is just that, like, I understand like where you're coming from, like the aura of Ryan. I, I personally, I like Ryan Garcia, and that's because yeah. I followed him. Yeah. For a while. No, and I've been following him for yeah. a minute now too, and like I, I, I like yeah. him too. He, you know, he's high desert. You know, that's not too far yeah. from us. Like, so it's kind of I don't know where. Uh, I'm drawing like where's Javante from? You know, Shy? Mm -hmm. Where Javante's from? Javante? Oh uh, no, no idea. I'm drawing a blank on that right now. Cool. Let's pull up a go Google. I don't know if he's a local boy or not. No, I, think so. I think he's from Baltimore. Yeah, I was just yeah, saying. Yeah, he was Baltimore. Yeah, no, I was just saying. That's why I was yeah. thinking. I was like, this was not for, for sure not yeah. like over here. Yeah, Baltimore. But, um, yeah, so, like, obviously, you know, you go with, like, your hometown kind of yeah. person or whatever. You want to back that up. But, like, I don't know, man. I just like RC because he kind of reminded me of, like, that, uh, I don't want to say old school, but, like, that, like, the like classic like golden like boy like kind of style boss and okay. like, Oscar De La Hoya stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, I but mean, I don't think he's as smooth with it. No, he's not as smooth, but like that's kind of like it's like the S's I get from him. Yeah. So for sure, it's like okay, he's, he's pretty cool. boy. Yeah. Like he's like he just has that kind of aura. Yeah. Of, like like the, like the De La like uh, Phil. So I mean, um, I like I buy like Tank Joe. Honestly, like if we get a good fight, that's gonna be cool. I mean, as far as what like, do you I'm think has more to lose, Tanker Tanker Garcia? Ooh, that's tough. I, mean, I say tank. Yeah, I say I tank this too. I say tank. I say tank because tank has built so much of his career already. Just like, just like established, establishing himself as a boxer. He he wins this fight. I was I was just doing my homework right now, and then just of the people within that um, that class of one thirty five. You have like the Shakur Stevenson. Um, uh, something Hanley. Oh, uh, Devin Haney. Yeah, yeah, the Devin Haney, and then, then of course there's this other guy. Um, I'll uh, I'll get to the name in a little bit, but uh, but anyway, so so so, so you have these guys vying to be in the top four mm -hmm. to get in here. So this fight right here for Davis, he beats Garcia. Okay, that's another buddy to vault him over to be like, bam, I'm here now. Like like mm -hmm. like like like, let me, let me fight for this division for Ryan Garcia. If if he if he loses, he's still twenty four, so he could still p p play that uh play that little um that card of look. I'm young, I swung for it, but 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 I missed or whatever. I I still have a lot of time to bounce yeah. back. The, the, this is literally just on a smaller scale of the Floyd mm -hmm. versus Canelo fight because Canelo was young. He was twenty three at the time, and then it, it was a pretty good fight. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so 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 from that, and it's like heck yeah. I personally, for me. My my quick tidbit with this, I take dank, uh, dank tank, Lord. Um, I take uh, I take tank in uh, in four just because in four. In wow. four, it's it's he's gonna get it. They're both they're both heavy heavy hitter uh, knockout guys versus Stevenson and then um and then uh, one of the other top guys who are, who are more kind of like technically sound. These guys are technical, but, 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 but they're going for the one punch. Ryan Garcia is going with the left. Tank can hit you multiple ways. He won't hit you with the right to knock you out. So ultimately for me, with this fight, I'm, I'm just super excited from the hype, from everything surrounding it to really kind of be like, okay, like. How, how do you think that goes? I would say. Quick in the land result. I think that they're gonna they're gonna be testing each other the first couple rounds. They're gonna fucking get in there, and then someone's gonna someone's gonna light someone up. It's gonna spark some shit. Middle middle rounds, I want to say around five to five to seven is where Davis is gonna get his ass. Okay, damn. Five to six. See, I, this is this is me being. I would like, say round, let's yeah. just say round six. Okay. Okay. And I want to see at least a, a knockdown around five. Okay. See, yeah, this is for me, like thinking like uh, strategy wise. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is gonna be as like a much of a war as people think. I think they're both gonna be fighting. I don't want to say scared, but more safe. I think more conservative. Gonna, more, I think they're gonna be more conservative. Mm -hmm. And then as the rounds get close, like as we get closer down, I, th I think as we get closer to like the ten round fight, right? I believe so. Yeah. Ten round fight. I think, I I think, think it's twelve. Twelve. Okay, twelve. <laughs> so I think the closer it's like eight or nine, you'll see them start. Trying to go, go get more blows in. Mm -hmm. I just have a feeling it's gonna get a good decision. 
Oh. I think I think this is one of those fights where both guys are so dangerous and both guys uh, can get that quick of a knockout mm-hmm. that they're not gonna. I think that they're gonna they're gonna try and play it some degrees to save mm-hmm. and try and just try to get a win out of this. All right, so split decision, and you say who wins, John? I'm with Garcia. And you go Garcia. So we have two for Tank, one for Garcia. This is gonna be a fun one. Um, I believe that was a great, that was a great little analysis, everybody there. So everybody, those were those were our two sports side of things. Now we're gonna transition over to the fun game. Something light, something right for the night, baby. Um, it's something we we're, we're gonna do here. Segment's gonna be called "Would You Steal? Would You Steal?" So I'm gonna ask my boys here individually certain questions that pertain to them if they were married. So <laughs> Matt, what's up? Would you still marry your wife? If she stopped giving you oral sex after you got married, what the fuck? That's a quick answer, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, there you go. I got you, baby. No, that, that, that's uh, yeah, I would, you know? but like, damn. There you go. It's it's good. It's good. Like, why? Yeah, like, why? Why? <laughs> John. <laughs> John. John. That's a shitty trick. I mean, I, I love. Uh, yeah, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. I got you. John, would you still marry your wife? Or, of course, still be married to her. If she told you you couldn't go to a baseball game ever again. Again? Oh my god! <laughs> it's either, it's either <laughs> me or baseball. Oh my god! It's like, oh, we're married. Fuck that. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not sucking those. I mean, I mean, you know, she, she gives you, she gives you like, I don't know. Like, she gives you like, all tomato? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't care if you're going to I'm not staying with her. Damn. She's just like, you know, she's like, babe, I just don't feel like giving you. He got a better one. <laughs> he got, oh, yeah. Mine's it, like, it, it, yeah, that one. I love this. <laughs> I love this. No ultimatums for me. Give me a different ultimatum, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna stop taking any ultimatums. <laughs> ultimatum for red flag. Yeah. <sighs> Seriously. All right. Uh, like off, why? Yeah. Off, off tops. I mean, let's see. So Matt, would you still be with your wife mm-hmm. <sighs> if she said you cannot work on females as a therapist? She better make damn good money. Damn. Nah, I don't know. I think that'd be fucking stupid. You're not letting me. You're not letting me live in my purpose. So that's not the wife. That wouldn't be right for me. She's not. She, she wouldn't be my wife. You know what I mean? There you go. <laughs> so I ask these questions, fellas, because especially at work, I get a lot of things that people say that once they get married with their partner, they stop doing these things. Stop sucking dick. Oral sex. Oral sex was one. Came on a bit for you. Working, working at any of the What kind of fucking life is that? <laughs> no, not at the same time. It's like, yeah, no, you can't go see Sean and Tony. Why? You can't go see him. Yeah. No. My no, child? Nope. <laughs> No, yes, but 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 we've had partners, you know, they stop going to the gym, so so they got overweight. But like I said, they, these are factors. Yes, there's external factors, but some people just do it because of complacency in life. Yeah. So I want like, security. Like if you're telling someone they can't do something, that's like a reflection of like either something that you don't want to do or something that you're scared of. Yeah, or something you're doing that you yeah. don't want your partner to do or something yeah. like that. Like mm-hmm. you know, um, but like, just, like I feel like. Take the picture. Yeah. I feel like, dude, if like if your wife stops sucking your dick, there's some communication errors going on. There's yeah. something going yeah. on. No, there's certain needs that aren't being met, and that's on you. You guys gotta figure out the fuck out because there needs to be some dick sucking. Yeah. Hey, man. But uh, hey, let's 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 uh, circle back away from the 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 um, oral. Um, <laughs> 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 and uh, I think uh, we should probably close out with maybe like a like a sports thing or something like that. What about baseball? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, baseball's cool. Angels have beat the Yankees, Chapter losing three straight. So oh fuck yeah, go Halos, <laughs> go Halos, baby. 
I'm that guy that I even like, though I got this on right now. Yeah, for <laughs> yeah, real. Yeah, I, I'm more of a fucking. Uh, I'm a marathon supporter. Yeah. You're a Yankee. No, I. I Nipsey Hussle. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant the New York marathon. No, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's the Boston. I just saw that documentary, The Boston Bombing. Oh, the man with the bomber. Dude, yeah. have you seen it? Yeah. Did you know those motherfuckers went out in the blaze of glory, bro? Yeah. The blaze of glory. <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> realize that. Yeah, it's been, that's, that's for a podcast. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, that's a podcast topic. Like, what the fuck? These motherfuckers are crazy. Yeah. All right, let's wrap this. God damn All right, well, that was from the sidelines of our here. So we'll see how the fight goes this weekend. Yes, yeah, so we'll see how the playoffs go. Yeah. I think this was a pretty good fun. Uh, yes, what the fuck was that? Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna see. We're gonna see what these lefts can do in this in this match, bro. Yeah. Garcia's got that puppy. And then Javante's boom uppercut city. I'm telling you, man. I, I should have went semi pro. That's a deal. <laughs> semi. Have a good one, everyone. This <laughs> is the sideline reports. Have a good one. God bless. I don't think you should kiss the sideline. <laughs>